Global Nation agitators on Saturday stormed the streets of Liverpool, the United Kingdom, to continue their demand for a separate nation. The protest was held in a few days ahead of a million man march scheduled to hold on Tuesday during the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly at the United Nations headquarters in the UK, United States. The agitators also demanded the release of Yoruba activist Sunday Adeyomo, aka Sunday Ubuhu, who has been detained in Benin Republic since his arrest on July 19th. The protesters displayed various pla uh, placards on which were written self determination is our right. Not a crime save us from Boko Haram, stop the systematic genocide in Yoruba land. No Yoruba territory, no election in, in Nigeria 2023, among others inscriptions. The protest was held alongside another by some members of the UK Labour Party and others in the attempt to stop a controversial electronic arms fair from taking place. The former Labour Party leader, Jeremy A. Carbon, was also in the attendance. One of the party leaders said, I was born in Nigeria. It is a country which was formed by British colonies. After the slave trade and today, we continue to suffer over there at the wrong ends of arms sold from this part of the world. And we have some campaigners here who have banners saying, Boko Haram are terrorists, not bandits. Buari must go. Nigeria is bleeding. <laughs> Sahara reporters learned on Monday that the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, NINAS, vowed to go ahead with the planned one million march in front of the United Nations headquarters in New, in the, the New York. Separatist group in the country under Ninas had earlier announced that they would hold a one million march to reiterate the demand for a referendum on self determination and abolition of the 1999 Constitution of Nigeria. Ninas is an umbrella body of self determination movement in the South, South, Southeast, Middle Belt, and Southwest. Alina Omo. Udua. The protest will be led by renowned Yoruba historian Prof. Banji Akintoye, a respected scholar, Yusif. Turaki, the Secretary General of Ninas, Tony Nandi, the pioneer Commissioner for Education in Oshun State, and the National Chairman of Alina Omo Udua, Wale Adiren, among others. It was learned that Nigerians in diaspora from the Southeast, the South South, the Southwest, and Middle Belt clans living in the United States of America are being mobilized to stand up for their indigenous nationalities. Akin Toye, during a recent interview, said, We want to show the world our plight so that we can see solutions. We can't keep quiet. The mega rallies held in the Southwest we are a success and it is not enough, but we need the world to understand our current plight. The federal government has tried to calm down on our rallies and some of the peaceful protesters were attacked and some were arrested. We decided the rally that we have had at home is not enough. We need to go international. This rally is coming at a time the U.S. General Assembly is going to be meeting in New York. This is this rally will help to solidify self-determination agitation. The rally is going to be an inclusive one. We have done the necessary. We have formed an alliance, NINAS, and we have agreed on the rally. We we will have Yorubas, the Igbos, the Middle Belt. Other regions will be at the rally, he said. Hmm. Oh my God. 
if only you can be so if only it can be so resolute as IPOP has been then the need is done kudos the voice of self-determination is hidden result Yoruba nation no going back you people have seen that all is not well with Nigeria imagine other political party leader is an is in another country protesting against the bad leader in Nigeria I pray for you people to get your own country we are tired of this country the behavior in the name of uh, separation go and learn a lesson from southern so uh, sudan i think is enough for you see what they did to iraq libya and the rest and recently afghanistan if not for russia some disaster and destruction would have before syria in my worry diet <laughs> all right these are nigerians reacting to this as you can see they accept uh, determination a uh, group they are bet on this according to them they said there is no going back they want their nation and they are going international so that the whole world will see them you get nigerian government though have said there is nothing like separation in nigeria that nigeria is going to remain one nobody's going anywhere according to them say everybody go die here but the question is the government are they trying to you know check why people are agitating because they are saying something if at all the government can you know listen to the voices of the people in the wilderness crying for help i believe the solution in nigeria will actually you know appear you know what i mean by that so my people make a drop and for you what's your view on this kindly drop your view below the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not also click on the notification button for more updates thank you very much for always stopping by i really do appreciate bye for now